Good morning. I had to come because I had some dreams. I had some dreams about some peoples. About some peoples. So good morning to you. I hope you're drinking your coffee. If not, hope you'll be getting it real soon because it's nothing like a good cup of coffee. But I look different, right? Maybe it's a hair. Let's get right into it. I had like two dreams, right? I don't know whether they was kind of together, uh, you know, or whether they were separate. But first, I'm gonna tell you one about me. It looked like I had to. I was like I was in a room or something, like a classroom. But I couldn't leave. Like, it was like I was obligated to be there. But I had a doctor's appointment or something that I had to go to. Right? And I told the person that was giving the class, I said, can I get, can I go get the paper? Can I go get the paper so I can show you that I have an appointment or something? And the person was like, yeah, okay, so I had like that, right? So I left out and I went like out the door, but looked like it was more so, no, I went like out the room, but looked like it was more so out the door. And I started looking for the thing, but the different places, every time I turned a corner or something, it was going further away from the classroom. And then it seemed like I found myself at the doctor's office. It looked like the doctor was, they was giving me a leave or something. And I was like, and I walked right in. I said, yeah, yeah. And they was like, oh, I'm glad you came because we was about to leave. And I don't know, it looked like if they had left, that I would have to wait for a long time before I got another appointment or something like that. But anyway, when I walked in, the doctor said to me, so you gonna have a headache. And the way he was describing the headache, it was gonna be like intense. I said, oh my goodness. He said, yeah, it was some kind of pill I had to take. But it seemed like, he said, you take it, but it seemed like I only had to take the medicine for a few days. I said, well, how long am I going to have this headache, doctor? He said, you're just going to have it for one day. I was like, one day. I was like saying to myself, I said, okay, I can deal with it. For one day, right? Like that. I said, okay, I can I can go with it for one day. But he was like explaining the headache. Like it was going to be like real, real intense. Like, bam, like knocking me out, right? And, but it seemed like, the medicine was something that I needed to take, but it wasn't something that I'll be taking for the rest of my life. It was just something that I had to do at that time. I don't even know what the medicine was for. Okay, so now with that being said, I don't know what came to me is about my son. It was something with my son. Yeah, because the confinement kind of took me to my son. But anyway. So now I'm talking on my wasn't. <laughs> so now let me go to the other one. The other dream. Now this dream was about Elder Robinson. Right? Bishop and you know what, strangely to say, it seemed like Pastor Glover was in the dream too. It seems like Bishop was in the room with Pastor Glover talking to Pastor Glover, right? He was laid back on the chair because it seemed like I looked in there all went in there. Me and him was buddy buddies. Yeah, me and him was buddy buddies. And it was, we, we was at a place 
we was at a place in our lives. Is that the right time? Is that the right way to say? No, we was at a place together, right? That whatever I said, he was all right with it. I didn't have no more issues with him. According to the dream, it seemed like I wasn't having no more issues with him. Whatever I said, he he was like, all right, no problem. All right, we're going to do it like that. Right? I don't know. I keep looking at my face because my face looks so different. I don't know what it looks different, y'all, but this ain't usually my morning look. My morning look look like I just woke up in the morning, but this look is like, like I ain't never went to sleep. <laughs> Okay, anyway, so, went on, okay, let me see, so now, Elder Robinson, I don't know where we were, it looked like we was downstairs by the walls, because the walls was panel, I think our walls downstairs is brick in our, in our, um, fellowship hall, but upstairs the walls are panel, but they, they seem to be kind of like, dark brown panel like the color of my it was like this color panel and it was like small little rooms right and I happened to come out coming out because it seemed like I just let Bishop and Pasco talking and I happened to come out and ran into Elder Robinson but she seemed to be very fragile right Right? She seemed not to be herself per se, but she was herself. And she was she wasn't doing too much talking, but some of the stuff she was saying was like, All right, I need to I gotta get to them. I, I, it's like she was trying to show them that I don't know whether it was save or it was like she was trying to show them that she came to church. Right, she was making her way to wherever they was in that room. Right, she was trying to get to that room, and I was saying to us, I was saying to us, to her, I was like, "Okay, all right, let me help you." And she was like, "Okay," so I went and I began. It seemed like it was some steps that we had to go down. Right. I know, sorry. It seemed like it was some steps that she had to, we had to go down in order for her to get. Yeah, she was trying to get to that room where Bishop and Pat's lover was. And it was more so like, she was trying to get there to show them that she came to church. Something about to show them that she was saved. It, it had something to do with, his, with her salvation. And in the dream, I was just like, it seemed like I was trying to let her know that you know, you just take your time. You you don't have to go there. I said, just take your time. And she was like, it seemed like her demeanor, I, I'm not really sure whether we did too much talking, but maybe she did blood it out and say, no, I have to go to them. I have to go to them. So I think that's when I said to her, okay, you want me to help you? I said, I help you. And I see me like standing behind her, like making sure she didn't fall. But she was like very fragile. She was like, I don't know, let me see, how should I explain this? She was like walking away. What do I mean by that? Like she was walking away to never return. Like she was walking into her future. Should I say this? Into her death. That's how it was when I kind of like, I don't know whether I got that in the dream or whether I got that as soon as I woke up. The the, the 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 presence of her was not a living presence. Mm. Lord have mercy. And then to go to, to try to make it to a room where Pastor Glover and Bishop is. Why is Bishop talking to Pastor Glover? Pastor Glover dead. And he was in there having a little rowdy old good time talking to her. I got away from it. I was like, I was trying to sneak away. I, I'm not going to say they were trying to get me in the room, but I was, it, it's just that in the dream, it seems like I was in control of him. So wherever he went, I was supposed, I was supposed to be there. Like 
if he was in the meeting and he was talking, I was supposed to be there with him. So in the dream, it seemed like, it seemed like, no, in the dream, we, we, we wasn't talking, meaning that me and him wasn't in that room together. <laughs> he was like, he was having a meeting with Pastor Glover and I was not invited to that meeting. And I was going on about my business. That's when I ran into Elder Robinson. And she was saying she had to get to that room because she had to show them that, I mean, in the dream, it seemed like she had to show them that, that she was saved. She had to show them that she made it to church. I, it was like, I got to go and I got to show them that I went to church, that I came to church. I don't know, maybe where we was a church, it was a church, but it wasn't our church. It seemed like we was in some rooms, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like. Like, we was in some, I don't know, it was just, it was just, like, <laughs> it's so hard to explain the dream. It was like a, a space, it was like little tiny spaces, right? I ain't seen nobody else. I mean, I think in the dream there was other people there, but the only visible ones that I noticed was Bishop Pascova. And I think I happened to, to leave the room. That's how I know Pascova was in the room. Or maybe I left a room and went over to check on Bishop and he was in there talking to Pastor Glover. But I don't think Pascova was visible, but I can hear her voice and like in the, in the realness of the moment, I knew it was her. But not so much that I saw her. Now I'm thinking about it. I didn't really see her, but it was more so like, that's that's who was in there, he was talking. He was, I remember him being lean back. He always have a way of leaning back on his chair. Like when, when he got everything, when he's in power, that's what he was doing, he leaned back. So he was leaning back in the chair, talking to Pascal. Yeah, yeah. And I kind of like opened the door and peeked in and saw him talking. And I was like, no, I ain't going in there. I'm going to leave them by themselves. That, that conversation ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> so now I'm walking away. And when I walk away, it seemed like I turned or the dream switch. And I'm like stepping over like a little threshold kind of. And that's when I saw Elder Robinson. She had on this black hat. She was like, I mean, yeah, let me get to what she had on, right? She had on this little black hat, right? And she was walking very slow. Oh my goodness. She was like, just barely go. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna tell her like it is, cause it's just a dream. In the dream, I portrayed her to be a witch. Like she looked like a witch. The, 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 her, her, her presence and it seemed like what she had on, you know, made her look, made her in the representation of a witch. She didn't have on the witch hat, you know, she didn't have the little funny man, you know, whatever a witch looked like, which I don't know only about by, by movies and stuff. You know, and I never saw her face. I just saw the back of her. And the hat was black. It was just like on her head. And her body was so frail, like, like you could just take her like this and just cl close her up. Like, I probably could have carried her. That's how, I, and when I say carry her, I don't mean it in perspective of that's how skinny or little she was. It was just like, I could just pick her up. You know, this is a towel to pick up, right? You, you're supposed to pick the towel up. So that's how she, that's how she was represented to me. That's how she was represented in the dream, like, I could just go and pick up, take away whatever she want. You know, like, what what you saying? Oh, you just be quiet. I could just put you over here. That That's what I don't mean in reference to her, her frame and stuff. Because just like I said, I never saw her face, but her body gave me the impression of what her face looked like. And, and her, her body was giving off the impression that she, her face was real wrinkled and she was like a 90 year old, 100 year old woman. Like, I don't know. It was just her, the way her presence was in the back. 
looking at her in the back. She just looked like she was walking, trying to get to Bishop to show picture. I wonder if that dream has stayed in there. She, um, if that dream has stayed in there, she always want to please them. And she need to just go for self, you know? Yeah, so, I don't know what that dream is. I don't know what it means to be up there talking past the glove. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I'll be having these dreams. That's my dream. I don't know what that dream is about me taking some pill that's going to give me some headache, but I only got to take it for a few days, and I'm only going to have the headache for one day. I don't know. I think that's, I think that's with my son. I'm not really sure. What's today? Today is Thursday, right? Oh, I forgot. What's that? Yeah, so that is my dream for this up.